We'll be taking a performance by Jayana, but before that, our very uh, next presentation, sorry, let's call on Madam Mary Ada Atoyobo to give us this presentation. Please, a round of applause for her. I know her. For her, she has told me that me, my terminus is my terminus. Please, a round of applause for her once again as she comes. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, my queen. Um, first of all, I'm Nigerian, just in case. <laughs> and my name is Ada Atayobo, professional makeup artist and a forex trader. I do a lot of things. I own a lot of businesses. I currently um, run Bankies Homes with Bankies and Bankies Farms. We do catfish. Enough of myself now. <laughs> okay. First of all, Debs, God bless you. Okay? God bless you. Thank you for bringing women together. You know, in my career as a woman, I look forward to empowering people in the society. In fact, I live for it. To the extent I use makeup to actually empower people in our society, we are capable, we are strong. The things, in fact, when I look at myself and see the kind of things I do, I'm like, Omo, we women, we are strong. We are so strong, and I mean it, men, you guys are only physically strong. Women, we are strong mentally, physically, emotionally. I can't even comprehend. I'm a mother of three. The things I had to do before I get here, balance, time management. When, it, when, when you want to talk about this, bring women. We know how to do it. We can't even say it enough. Sometimes you, this girl, you that you are there crying, my dear, you don't know what you can do. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you don't have money, you are broke. Are you kidding me? And you are still alive. You can do so much. In fact, you should be thanking God that you are even alive because that's, that life you have, what you can do with it with just one thought is crazy. It's crazy. I, I, t I tell you, if, if I look at the things I have achieved so far, I can't even mention all the awards, Sev. If I look at the things I've achieved so far, I'm like, Ada, how are you able to do this within this period of time? There, could be, there were times I really wanted to give up. Being an entrepreneur is not, it's not anybody's joke. It's not anybody's metal. It's nobody's mate. A lot of women have stood here. The things they have said, I can relate so much. So much. Is it a seven? Is it the fact that you have to bring yourself down just to be comfortable? You make yourself uncomfortable just to acquire something. If you see where I'm walking, I don't look this good. If you see where I'm with my kids, I look my worst. But when I come here, I look good. And you'll be like, oh, she's looking good. Oh, her hair is so nice. Wow. But if I tell you the cry and sweat to get the money to buy this hair, if I tell you the cry and sweat to make sure I pay my, my, my employ, employees, if I tell you the cry and sweat to support other women, regardless of the situation, And as an, as an entrepreneur, you're going to meet blocks. They say there is no smooth road without pothole. You must definitely see the pothole. But the mindset, the perception you have towards that pothole is what will get you through that pothole. 
this is one thing I can say. I feel like every woman that stood here to, to talk has said almost every single thing. They have said it all. I just need you to listen to them. Make sure you are using the book. Even in my master class, I would provide you with book. This book in front of you is not for play. A day will come like this. You would wish. In fact, you will, you will tell yourself that, thank God I didn't regret being as she triumphed. Because all they have said are takeaways. Important keynotes. Your self-confidence. <laughs> Manuel said it. You want to achieve. Look, look at that, that madam that was standing here. Madam, had, had these are right? Or what, what is her name? Had these are right? See the, see the confidence. Because she knows what she's about. She knows what she has done. She knows the effort she has put inside. She knows the work she has done. Nobody can tell her. That is confidence. Not be confidence when we say you go to find other people trouble. That energy, you can, you can put it into working. That energy, you can put it into getting something for yourself. It's not to look for trouble on social media. It's not to go and comment on one kind post. Waiting no concern, you want pull mount. If you can't go pull mount, you are still not positive about it. Do you understand? As a woman sitting here, you can achieve. Men, you are unique in your own dimensions, from your own ethnicity. You know, let me tell you guys a story. There is this thing in Nigeria that every Nigerian that comes to Ghana, they become useless. It's either they are on the streets begging money. No, I will say it too because it's happening. Yeah. They are on the streets begging for money or they are looking for who to dupe. They have this thing about Nigerians. Especially the ones they send to come and school here. Half of them will use their school fees to go to clubs, do other things. A whole lot. I almost slipped and made that mistake. Until I remember the kind of family I came from. First of all, check your background. If you are from a rich home, do you want to continue the riches or you want to be the one to end it? If you are from a poor background, do you want to become rich or you want to continue the poor lineage? Think about it. Sit down and ask yourself a question. Don't ever in this life compare yourself to another person. You can never be another person. Even twins, even my twin kids, I don't see them acting alike in any way. They, have, they are different, but they are twins when you see them. They are twins, but they can never be the same, ever. Look at yourself. You have capabilities. Read. Enhance yourself. Have time for just yourself to be able to realize your inner capabilities. Be intentional. Be very intentional. Self-awareness is the most important thing in this life. That should be your number one thing. Because by the time you realize yourself, the world has nothing on you. You can achieve, achieve anything greatness that comes around you. Be aware of yourself. Be intentional. Be in the know. Don't follow people because you are just following. Do you even have an aim? Do you even have direction? It's only people that don't really have direction that follow too much or copy too much. There are other women that are doing it better than us. Be inspired. Be motivated. Don't copy. Be your own unique type of person. In this life, there are four C's I usually preach in my master class. And these four C's are number one, consistency. 
you start a business, you are doing entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, you are calling yourself I'm an entrepreneur, but you are not consistent. One hit will hit you. You, do, you are. <coughs> One hit. Life, life just gave you testing balls. Hit. You are already wanting to give up. You already feel like the world has come to an end. Why did you even start in the first place? Have you asked yourself the question? As in you look at yourself. Me, I want to look good though. I want to be a sweet mother that will take care of her children, make sure that I'm teaching my children the right things this life has to offer. And in the same process, I want to look good. How can I do it for myself? Do I have to depend on men? Do I have to depend on my father? You might be complaining, oh, you don't have money, oh, you don't do this. But there's a money that you, that you are getting to pay data, to browse. Do you know that that small money self can make you a lot of money? Have you even sat down to think? You know, let me tell you something, eh? Sometimes when an idea pops up in your head like that, it has come home. But do you know what makes you let that idea go or fly away? Manuela said it here, right. In my car, I have book. In my studio, I have book. In my house, I have book. Everywhere I go with me, I have book. It, says, it can have this very small note. Ideas can come to your head at any time. And that's God. That's how God works. God can put something in you at a time you don't even expect. It could be that you are sitting down here looking at somebody beside you and something just can enter your head. It could be that you are sitting down here and I'm talking to you. Something just came into your head. Right. Writing has changed my life. If I'm sad, I write. If I'm strong, I write. If I'm grateful to God and to the universe, I write. If I'm down, I'm right. If I'm up, I write. It's not because I'm wasting my hand or wasting pen or to write. Writing has guided me. It has put me in a position where I know what to do next. I know how to do it next. It's called consistency. Follow, understand your life today. Understand your life tomorrow. Where are you headed? Where are you going? Think about it. Now, let me, let me say this very last. The four uh, C's, capability, commitment, and confidence. These four C's of life are very important. You have selected the business that you want to do. Are you capable? If anything happens right now, are you going to overlook and still continue? Can you move? Can you keep it going? You know, when I came up with Masterclass with Vendor Jews, I came up with Masterclass with Vendor Jews as a movement. It's not something that I just want to make more. If we even sit down to calculate for you, you will see that the money that we are even getting, you know, rich quarter. But it's, I can't be a makeup artist and the society is not benefiting from me as much as I'm benefiting from them. People will book us. People will call us to come and talk, talk in events. Pay us. Pay us to promote their products. But is it really all about collecting the money? This one thing I preach. Make sure you inspire everybody around you. Whether it's you are giving them, you are talking to them, you are buying from them, you are supporting them, you are collaborating with them. It comes in all ways. And above all, as a woman that you are, believe you can do it. And a lot of people will come and tell you, oh, mother, this is your idea, it's too big, oh, you know, sure, say you go feel run now. You say, like, you can do it. You can do it. As far as it has come to your head, you can do it. 
stay, stay strong with that idea. Hold it like your own. Put it in your heart. And trust me, you can achieve more than greatness. Masterclass with the Jews empowers one person. That one person gets to go home with cash, product from sponsors, and a whole lot. For just 500 Ghana cities for two days, people will speak to you to change your life. You would learn a skill that will change your life entirely. You can't just be a makeup artist and be a makeup artist by mouth. Be a makeup artist and be a makeup artist with a purpose. I know that it's not everybody here that wants to be a makeup artist. But if you want to be one, or if you want to do whatever you have chosen to do in your line and area of business or career, make sure you do it well. Make sure you bring out your heart. You do it with all your heart. You don't relent. There will be stop, stumbling blocks. A lot of temptations will come your way. But do not in any way let anybody come, come in between that. You are doing it for a purpose. And make sure until you get to that purpose, you are not seeing road. Do you understand? Once again, I'm very much honored to have spoken to everyone here. You guys are all amazing. You can do greater, greater things in future. And I wish every single one of you here the very best life has to offer. Thank you. Thank you so much, madam. Please, a round of applause for her once again.